All right, hi, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vonder, and welcome to another exciting video. We're talking copyright infringement, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift Productions. Here is a new lawsuit filed in Memphis, uh, in Tennessee, Western District of Tennessee, Teresa Ladart. And this alleges infringement, copyright infringement by Taylor Swift. And let's take a quick look here. This is an action for copyright infringement by Teresa Ladar, TLD, the owner of the rights to the creative elements of her published book, Lover. So she had a book called Lover. The Lover book was written and designed by TLD and published by Author House on January 12, 2010. Lover was also registered with the United States Copyright Office. The same year, defendant Taylor Swift, along with the other defendant, Taylor Swift Productions, released the album Lover with an accompanying book, The Swift and TSP Lover Book. On the same name, on August 23, 2019, the Swift and TSCP Lover Book included a number of creative elements that copied, there's copyright, copied the expressive designs and arrangements of the TLD Lover book without authorization or credit to the detriment of TLD. So there's your basic allegations. I'm, I won't go too much into that. Let's see if I can go single page here. I think I got single page. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Single page continuous, what we're looking for. All right, so you got your facts. I'm not gonna go into it. She had a trademark, um, or excuse me, a registered copyright. Let's go down. The copyright infringement was the cause of action. Basically, in a copyright infringement case, a plaintiff needs to show substantial similarity, access to the copyrighted work, and substantial similarity. So here you go, seeking, whoa! for judgment assessing defendants for the damages in excess of $1 million. Wow. All right, well then request for a jury trial. Um, let's go down and let's look at some of the allegations here. I'm not gonna bore you with all these little legal details. There's what the copyright looks like. If you were wondering what a copyright registration certificate looks like, here it is. And so you can see uh, Teresa Ladart, the plaintiff had a trademark here. So let's see if you guys think this is substantially similar. Here's an exhibit, poetry by Teresa Ladart. Uh, it looks like a picture of her holding her dog. Okay, and I guess that was a registered copyright and it says lover, okay? Poetry by Teresa Ladart, lover. Now let's compare that with um, Taylor Swift's. So here there's a word lover. Okay, that's the same word. It's a generic word. Um, there's a heart around her eye. That's kind of unique. The colors appear to be a little different to me. I don't see a dog. Um, do you guys think that's substantially similar? That's going to be the test in the case. Does that look substantially similar like Taylor Swift copied? Do you guys see that? Yeah, you know, I, I don't see it personally. My personal opinion, I don't see it. Um, but that's what the case is evolving around. Just wanted to give you this copyright news break. There's some other information for you. I'll link to the case down below in the mess in the description area if you want to read more about it. But uh, interesting case. A lot of people will sue um, celebrities hoping to get some money. Uh, and I'm not saying you know everybody's claims valid or not valid till it's proven valid or not valid. So, um, but you know me personally, I don't. I don't see it here, but some people will sue just hoping that, you know, that they'll just get a quick settlement uh, or something along those lines. Problem is uh, these defense companies, maybe we're looking at insurance defense companies or whatnot, you know, they're going to fight her. This is going to be a big fight and whatnot. Okay, so we'll keep you posted. I'll let you know what we find, but comment down below. Do you think this looks similar? Is there some kind of uh, copyright infringement here? What are your thoughts? Have a great day. Thanks for watching.